how do I handle transitions? Being an older woman, um, probably having been through a few transitions, how do I handle transitions? Hello friends and welcome to the Truth Booth. You're grabbing me on the run right now, so I'm not at home, obviously. But I wanted to take a little minute to talk to you on Ask Me Tuesday. I wanted to talk about something that somebody asked me in my travels recently, and I just thought I would just answer that here as well. But I was being asked about transitions and how do I handle transitions, being an older woman, um, probably having been through a few transitions, how do I handle transitions? Well, <laughs> that depends on what the transition is. The answer to that is, and I know that we all go through life transitions. Some transitions are incredibly difficult, like the loss of a, a loved one, um, the loss of a job. Uh, losses that create transition are so difficult. Other transitions are because we're moving on to something that might be a, a, a better, is making things better, but it's still a transition. Some transitions can be with our job. There's all kinds of transitions going from two children to three children. Let me just talk a little bit about what I see through the years. I have handled transitions poorly at times and I think I have handled transitions with more wisdom at times. And really it all comes down to, am I letting God speak to my heart during the transition? What am I doing um, that is including Him and what His Word tells me about His grace, about His mercy, about His faithfulness, about His care for me, about His discipline in my life through transitions? So I would say the times that I've handled transitions poorly have been the times when I think that I can handle the transition. <laughs> That's the truth. I think I do have a personality that does kind of go with the flow a bit. I think that I um, kind of tend to be an, an up person overall. And so that can be really dangerous when it comes to big things like transitions because I can end up relying on everything, my own esteem. And I all of a sudden can like fall apart or freak out or not be able to sleep at night because I have all these nagging questions or my health, my health fails because I've been carrying this pressure inside and it's going to escape somewhere, either lashing out at somebody or my emotion, it's going to escape somewhere. So I think the, the most valuable lesson that I have learned is that I look at transition square in the eye and from the very beginning don't rely on myself or perhaps know that I can't rely on myself and freak out about the whole thing and worry and fret and have all these questions that are unanswered and worry about every little detail that's going to happen. Either way, what I've learned in my years of life is that I'm not trusting my good God who knows where I am who put me in that space because he, he is sovereign. So he knows before I know. Nothing, no, no transition I'm going through takes him by surprise. It may take me by surprise, but it doesn't take him by surprise. So from the very beginning, that would be, that would be a little bit of wisdom that I would give. Right now, I am facing a big life transition. Um, being at that age where there's certain things that I need to let go of and let other people take on. And there's certain things, hopefully, that I'm going to be grabbing onto. So it, I'm in a life transition right now. And I'm telling you, it is, it's a struggle. Things are different. Um, there's a lot that is going on inside of me that I need to continually take to God. And you know, when we do that, when we do it, not just know we need to do it, not just think about doing it, but when we actually do it, he answers in such wonderful ways. He's the one that gives me peace. He's the one that gives me strength. He gives me wisdom on how to tackle the things that need to be tackled. He watches out for my heart that wants to lash out at people or blame or, you know, I end up having little angry things here and there, or whatever it ends up being, really just because of working out the stress in my life. He's the one that points that out if I honestly go to Him. So transitions to me are a time to cling to the Father. Cling to the Father. Whether we have that, that optimistic personality that really can go quite a long time and 
things look like they're going well, or we have that pessimistic personality that from the very beginning is like, this isn't going to work. I don't know how this is going to work and stay, lay awake at night trying to figure out how I can make it work. Both need the dependency that we find in Christ and that place that we can find him so faithful. Think about the life of Christ. That's what we always have to go back to, right? The gospel story. What did he come to give his life for? What kind of transition did Jesus go through? Oh my goodness, leaving heaven, the throne of heaven, and coming as a man to earth. One transition after another, after another, after another, as he was on earth. So he is not a high priest that sits up there um, and does not know how to relate to where we are, especially when it comes to transitions. He knows he walked this path in perfection with the Father. So we know that he can relate to where we're at. And we know that our good, gracious Father keeps letting us live this life here on earth because of all these opportunities to learn who he is, that we can trust him, that we can't trust ourselves, that we can absolutely put our faith and our trust in him and let him just pour peace into our life, even in the midst of transitions. He is our good father. So that would be my the gray-haired lady, little word of wisdom if you're in a transitional place right now, whether it's something that you planned, something that completely took you by surprise, something that is devastating, or something that is actually moving towards something better in your life. Um, whatever it is, transitions are difficult, no doubt about it. And so from the very beginning, we've got to dive into the word We've got to meditate on that word with him. We have got to look to God our Father and know that he is the giver of peace, that he can bring peace into our life, even in the midst of the most horrific transitional time. So instead of laying awake at night worrying, instead of lashing out maybe at others, instead of thinking that I should be able to do this by myself, it's not that big of a deal, or sinking because I know that I cannot, there's no way I can do this, I can't do this, I look at it and I'm overwhelmed. Whichever space you find yourself in, that's the space to call out on God and to invite him into. He's already laying out that story of your life, you may as well invite him into your heart. And, and ask him to walk through this with you and to bring you the peace that passes all understanding as we walk through times of transition. So had a lovely conversation about that with somebody else and just wanted to share it here today. Hope you're having a great week back to school um, for some of you, your kids back to school for others of you, entering into the season of fall for some of you. Um, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.